Hey kids, this is a story called Jubal's Wish by Audrey Wood and pictures by, John, by Don Wood. Once upon a bright and sunny day, Jubal Bullfrog skipped down the flowering path. He was so happy his feet barely touched the ground. <laughs> Looks like she's enjoying this day. Long before he came to a cottage of Gertie Toad and her seven toadlets. Whackety whack! Gertie was outside beating a dirty old rug with her broom. Happy sunny day to you, dear old friend! Jubal exclaimed. What's so happy about it? Gertie snapped. The toadlets are in everything and my house is a mess. Meh. For all I care, it could be raining. But I have packed a picnic to share, Jubal said, holding up his basket. Picnic? I don't have time for that, Gertie grumbled. Work, work, work. That's all I ever do. Gertie Toad heaved the rug over her shoulder and stomped back to her cottage. Well, Jubal looked up. The sky was blue and the birds were singing to the, in the trees. A splendid feeling of wonder moved from his toes to the tip of his nose. Gasping, grabbing his basket, Jubal skipped on, whistling a happy tune. Down by the river, Jubal found Captain Dilbert Lizard lounging in the shade of his sailboat the molly bee. A happy sunny day to you, dear friend, Jubal called. The lizard opened one eye and sighed. My happy days are over, he said. Once I was a great captain, bound for adventure with a fine crew. Now no one wants to sail in an old boat with an old captain. I know just what you need, Jubal said, holding up his basket. A picnic is always the best thing, and it makes everything better. Sorry, Jubal, Captain Dilbert said as he slowly climbed the ladder to his cabin. I am not in the mood. Well, for a moment, Jubal thought, maybe I should be unhappy too. But the fresh grass and the sweet flowers smelled so good that Jabal plopped down beneath the daisy and took a deep breath and he leaned back close and, his, and closed his eyes. I wish there was something I could do to make my friends as happy as I am in this glorious day. A butterfly came dancing over his head and landed on the daisy. Then something wondrous happened. A great hand reached down and scooped up Jabal high in the air. Do you need a wish? A wizard asked, startling bullfrog. Reaching into his pocket, the wizard brought out a small twinkling star. It's a wish, he said, and it's yours if you want it. A wish, Jabal exclaimed. Do they really come true? Dreams and wishes, wishes and dreams, the wizard said with a wink. Sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. You never know how they'll turn out in the end. The bullfrog took the twinkling star and held it next to his heart. I wish Gertie Toad's housework was done and her toadlets were well behaved and Captain Dilbert and his adventures were back. That's my wish. Jabal opened his eyes. He was back beneath the daisy. The wizard was gone and the twinkling wish had disappeared. Racing over to the molly bee, he hurried up the ladder. Captain, Captain, he called, knocking on the cabin door. Are you happy now? The door opened slowly. Captain Dilbert squinted out at the bullfrog. Oh, Jabal, he groaned. 
I bumped my head, stubbed my toe, and burnt my biscuits. Someone must have put a curse on me. Go away and leave an old salt in his troubles. As Jubal walked back up the path, a dark cloud gathered in the sky, hiding the sun. When the bullfrog passed Gertie Toad's cottage, he heard yelling inside, Stop squabbling! What a mess! Pick up your toys! Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. Things are not so happy in the Gerd's home. Long before Jabal came to a large toadstool, he climbed up and sat down to think. My wish didn't work. That wizard tricked me. Captain Delbert and Gertie are more miserable than ever. And what has happened to my happy sunny day? A tear trickled down his cheek, just as the first drop of rain fluffed into his nose. Jubal sobbed, and the rain poured down. The rain made deep puddles. The puddles ran together and formed a stream, and the stream grew wider and soon became a rushing river. Jubal didn't notice what had happened until the icy water washed over his toes. Oh dear, he cried, it's a flood. I'll be swept away. Great waves rolled towards the bullfrog. Help! Somebody save me, he shouted. I'm stranded. A faint voice called in the distance. Jabal, where are you? I'm over here, he yelled, trying to see through the blinding rain. The, a struggling sailboat bobbed into view. Hang on, Jabal, an anxious voice called. We're almost there. The sailboat fought its way through the storm until it struck the toadstool with a bump. Gertie and her toadlets pulled Jabal from the stormy water just in time. Welcome aboard, matey, Captain Delbert shouted as he slapped his friend on the back. What a day, eh? <laughs> I haven't seen this much action since the typhoon of 49. Great work, Toadlets. You're a fine crew. Aye, aye, Captain, the Toadless agreed. Oh, Jubal, I'm so glad you're safe, Gertie Toad said, hugging him. It's a miracle. Our cottage floated away. Captain Delbert rescued all of us. Oh, gracious, Jubal exclaimed. What are you to do? I know what to do, the captain said. We'll all go on a grand adventure. The toadlets will be my crew, and Gertie, you make a fine first mate. <laughs> if you're needing a cook, Jabal said, holding up his picnic basket, our first meal is ready to serve. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's eat, Captain Gil Delbert exclaimed. Just then, the sun appeared in the sky making a rainbow over the water. It's like a dream or a wish come true, Gertie said. Wishes, dreams, dreams, wishes, Jabal said with a wink. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. You never know how they'll turn out in the end it makes you want to go take a little boat ride or an adventure yourself have a good day <laughs>